Hi guys, I'm Candace from Candace's Book Blog, and it's time for another In My Mailbox. Um, if you remember, I am on a book buying ban, and I've been on the ban for a month now, and this is the first week of the ban that I did not buy a single book. But all the other times were really good deals, so it's not so bad, but the point of it is to try to get through my TBR pile a little bit. Um, despite the book buying ban, I still got a lot of books. Um, last night I got Once a Witch by Carolyn McCulloch. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Sorry, I butchered it. Um, this is a rack, Random Act of Kindness, and it came from Laurie at Pure Imagination. And it's so shimmery. It's beautiful. And... For some reason UPS came like after I was in bed or at least after I put the kids to bed because um, my husband picked up the package when he came in late at night and so he watched as I stroked the cover of my gorgeous book and he realized that I really do love books and maybe he should let me get them more often. <laughs> no not really I still get a lot of books but he thought it was funny that I was so excited and then I borrowed a book from Angela at Reading Angel. She sent Shut Out. This is by Cody Keplinger. I finished this book today and it was really, really good. It was actually a tiny, tiny bit slow in the beginning. Um, I wouldn't say it was really slow, but I didn't feel a strong compulsion to keep reading. But once I got like halfway, maybe a little bit before halfway, I had a really hard time setting it down after that. It was really, really, really good, and um, I highly recommend it. And then I got a package from Sophie Jordan, and she sent a bunch of swag. She sent Vanish bookmarks and Firelight bookmark or postcards. And Firelight stickers. She also sent um, the little bracelets, the little rubber bracelets. I don't know if they have a name. It seems like they have a different kind of name. Um, anyways, they're up in my room. <laughs> I was wearing them, and my daughter was wearing one, so they got taken away from the pile of stuff. But they were pretty cool. And so thank you to Sophie and all that stuff will go in my giveaways and I'll stick them in library books and stuff to uh, help spread the word. For review, I got Song of the Nile. This is by Stephanie Dre. It is the second book in the series. Lily of the Nile is the first book and it takes place in Rome um, and it is about the daughter of Cleopatra and Augustus. And the first book is really good. It has like a little bit of real magical realism. Like it has magic, but it's not like crazy fantasy magic. And it's um, kind of a historical fiction. And so I'm really excited to read that. And she sent, Stephanie sent a little card with it. And she sent a charm as well. Here's the cover of Lily of the Nile. And the charm was teeny, teeny, tiny. And it got misplaced. So I'm going to have to look for it. I have a nice pile of stuff that I keep together before I do my in my mailboxes. But sometimes the kids get into it and stuff. And so I don't know what happened. It's probably sitting over there between the books. Okay, also for review, I got Eve. This is by Anna Carey, and it is a dystopia, and I'm looking forward to reading it. That is published by Harper, and it comes out in October. At least that's what the side says. You know, sometimes they move them up, so it could be wrong. And then, this is the most exciting book of all for the whole week, Shatter Me. And I'm not even going to say her name, but you probably have heard of the book by now because it's been a big deal and it is a dystopia 
And it comes out, nope, it says November. So, like I said, that could be wrong. It could be changed. But as far as I know, it comes out November 15th. It has a sticker on it. That is also published by Harper. And thank you to Harper for sending this one to me. Eve came from Amazon Vine. So, that's all the books that I got in my mailbox this week. Um, it is only Thursday, but I have plans for Friday, and that's when I usually do my video. And I was actually getting ready for the day today, and it wasn't a pajama day, so I figured I'd better do my in my mailbox. So I look a little bit better. And can you tell I colored my hair? It's kind of hard to tell. I can't really tell on there. There, that's a little bit better. But it's a it's a burgundy, and my husband actually did it, and I think he did a pretty good job. There are some spots in the front, just like right there, that um, didn't get enough color. But it was a really inexpensive hair guy, so it probably isn't gonna last long. Mommy and mommy. Yeah, that's mommy. I want to have mommy. <gasps> Look, there's a baby. That's not the baby you wanted to see? That's mom? Is that baby? Yeah, is that you? Say, that's me. Yeah. Baby. <gasps> baby. Baby? That baby. There's a baby on there? Is that you? Is that my baby? That baby. That baby. Okay. Say that bye. Baby. Bye. Oh, we have to tell them something else. Say, the what did you get in your mailbox? Bye. Bye.